fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. No one could match his courage, strength, or daring, and the stories of his deeds have come down to us through the generations. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear and relive one of his most thrilling adventures. first stage for Gold Flats was racing along the trail. Happy Joe Monk, the shotgun messenger who had been given his nickname because of his gloomy outlook upon life, hung on to the box of the coach with difficulty. He did not suspect that the skillful driver beside him was a famous Lone Ranger who had assumed the identity of Wild Bill Riley, a well-known stage driver and... Get up there! Get along! There! Get along! Hey, Bill! Yeah? Can't you take it a little easier? We're around that last turn of two wheels. We ain't touched nothing but the high spot since. Getting scared? No, I wouldn't say that I was. Just wouldn't like to see the coach turn and turn and roll us down the hill. Scuff up my new pants. If Jim Plummer's going to get that franchise to carry the mail over this route, we've got to reach Gold Flats by the first of the month. That's the deadline. We won't make it, mister. Never in a million years. Just a waste of time and effort to try. You think so? In the first place, Black Bart ain't gonna just stand by idle. Let the boss get that franchise when the outfit he works for wants it. He'll make what trouble he can, In the but... second place, how in the place are we gonna get the gold flats for the first? We ain't got wings. How soon do you think we'll make Paiute Springs? We're gonna travel through the night? Yeah. And we ought to pull in sometime in the middle of the next night. All depends on the quality of the horses we'll give on the way. Then we'll get to Paiute Springs sometime tomorrow afternoon. Get up! Get along there! Well, tomorrow afternoon? You come, Loco. Hang on tight and watch. So you're the famous Wild Bill Riley, eh? Well, I always heard you was wild enough when you got the reins in your hands. Doggone if I thought you'd be clean crazy. We have to make that kind of time, so we will. Oh, Bill? Bill, something tells me you ain't gonna live through this. You always look on the bad side of things, Happy. What other side is there? That's something you'll have to find out for yourself. Come on there! Yeah. Get up! Get up there! Get up there! At the same time, in the local office of the Transcontinental and Pacific Stage and Express Line at Cooperstown... Stand up, blast! <laughs> Please, Bart. Please don't hit me again. Go. Oh, no. uh, now quit your snivel. Look, Bart. We thought we'd drill Wild Bill. Honest, we did. I just swore to you him. You come back to town here. Tell me that you and Slim plugged Bill over by the pass. 
And on the strength of your story, I bet Jim Plummer, his driver, won't show up. Well, he showed up all right. And it cost me just exactly $100. But it was dark when we dry ghosted that fella. That's how we come we made the mistake. It must be. Who wants excuses? And it ain't the hundred dollars I'm worrying about. But I tell you... You fool, don't you savvy that if this here Gold Flat stage line gets the Gold Flats by the first of the month, they'll get that mail franchise, and if they get it, Transcontinental don't. And if Transcontinental don't, I get fired. Uh, There ought to be something we could still do. There is, and we're gonna do it. What blazes is keeping Slim. Slim! Hi there! How soon are you gonna have them horses saddled and ready to go? All set now, boy. Yeah, that's better. Hey, come on. Yeah, Bart. I don't care if you and Slim was up most of the night. I'm riding, you're following along. Now, get out here. Uh, I don't mind. I saddled up just as fast as I could, boss. Fast, eh? You're the slowest hiker I know of. And you get around just twice as slow as you think. <laughs> come on, both of you. Get mounted. Bart, where are we going? After the stage. After the stage? Gosh, they got a 10-mile start on it. Yeah? And what if they have? Well, I... They got to stay on the stage trail, don't they? Huh? You mean we're going to head them off by cutting across country? How else would we pass them? But it's mighty rough going, Bob. And there's engines that ain't none too friendly. The going ain't no rougher than you'll get from me if you don't quit your whining. And besides me, them engines will seem downright friendly. Oh, we'll go all right. Did you think for a minute you wouldn't? Well, Redskin, what are you snooping for? Me gone. Clear out. Get him up, Skull. Get him up. I wonder what he wanted. Just curious, like all town redskins, that's all. Well, lay letter to them cayuses of yours. Get up, get up, get up. When Tonto was ordered away by Black Bart, he rode no further than the modest office belonging to the Gold Flat stage line. Oh, Scout! Oh, oh, Scout! Oh, you, you wait here, Scout. Oh. Come in. Oh, howdy, Redskin. What can I do for you? You, Jim Plummer. Mm-hmm. That's me. You come. Huh? What do you mean? There, trouble. You ride with Tonto. Tonto? Me. Tonto. Oh, I see. Well, what's this trouble you're so fussed about, huh? Black Bart, him ride. What's that? Go on, Redskin. What's that about Black Bart? Him ride after stage. Take men with him. Leave now. How do you know? Me here talk. What's it to you? Me friend, a feller drive stage. Not one trouble. I get it. You're part of Wild Bill, huh? And that right. You ain't just making all this up, are you? I mean, about Bart riding after the stage and the rest of it. You ask him. Other fella, maybe see him. Engine, I'll just do that. Trail along. We'll see if anybody noted Bart riding from town. If they did, you and me will do a little riding ourselves. <laughs> In the meantime, the Lone Ranger, playing the part of Wild Bill Riley, urged the coach he drove to its fastest speed, unaware that Black Bart was even then on the point of overtaking and passing him. Get along! Get up there! Well, Happy, still think we won't make Paiute Springs by noon tomorrow? Well, we're going fast enough, mister. Well? Well, I'll be that busted if a stage ever rolled it could stand the pace this is going. Oh, oh, go on. Can't you take it easy over them bumps? You got me just about rubbed down to a shadow. Hang on, Happy. We're on our way. Get up there. Look ahead, Bart. Yeah, I see him. The stage. Shall we get back on the trail? We stay like we are. How are we going to stop unless we get on the trail? Who said we was? But I thought Quit you Quit thinking. I'll take care of that. There's a station where they stop to change horses about five miles ahead, ain't they? Uh-huh. Then that's where we're going. Get up. Get up there. And before we get inside of the place, cover your faces with them bandanas you got. Uh, hold up. You'll see when the time comes. Whip up that horse. Get on there. Get on. Get up. 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 Get 
Cutting cross country, Black Bart led his two companions past the stage without being discovered. Then they spurred their mounts on towards the next station where the stage would halt for a change of horses. When Bart, Abe, and Slim reined in before the gate, their faces were masked. Oh, 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 oh. You, Abe, get down and pound on that gate. Yeah. Who's in charge here? Just a breed. Well, Abe, get at it. Give me time enough. Time? You want us to still be outside here when the stage drives up? Hey, Breed! Hi there, Breed! Open up! He won't if he sees us masked. Yeah, but he can't. Hi, Breed! Get a hustle on! Hey, Senor. Diablo, the outlaw. Breach! Do not shoot, amigo. Sacre, I beg of you. Stand aside and keep your hands in the air if you aim to live. All right, come ahead. Get up there. Get up. Please, please do not shoot. I beg of you, sir. Please. Who there? Who there? What? What you do, amigos? Why have you come? Shut up! <sighs> Abe, close and bar that gate again. Right. You all alone here, Breed? Don't lie to me or I'll blow your head off. Si, senor. Me, Pablo, I'm alone. It is your truth, senor. That's I'm enough. Alone. What now, boss? You look around to see that the Breed ain't tricking us. I don't figure he is, but I aim to make sure. I'll have a look. What you want me to do? Tie up the Breed for one thing. Mm -hmm. Then keep watch for the stage and yell out when you see it coming. But you ain't said yet what your scheme is. You blind... Can't you see it for yourself? I can't with see it. With the no. gate barred and the doobie walls and us in here to hold them off with guns, they can't get in, can they? Oh, but what's to prevent them just riding on down the trail? <laughs> Let them. But what good's that? You saw it... how the driver was whipping up them horses, didn't you? Yeah. Well, if they can't get inside here for fresh horses, how far do you figure they'll get towards Paiute Springs? Gosh, boss, that's something I never thought of. When did you ever think of anything? All right. I have to breathe and stand guard. Slim securely tied the breed and placed a gag in his mouth to prevent an alarm. Then he took a position upon the adobe wall that surrounded the station where he could see for some distance. The stagecoach upon which the fortunes of Jim Plummer depended pounded on down the trail with nothing to warn his driver or the shotgun messenger who sat beside him of the danger that lay ahead. Suddenly, Slim gave a shout. Now she comes! How far off? Just to the bend. It was out of sight of four. Then get off that wall, so They won't sight you. Get over here. Coming. <coughs> hey, Abe. What's up? Slim just seen the stage. It's blame near here. Grab your gun and come a-running. Right. Should we shoot to kill? Why not? Yeah. Well, they had this place fixed in case engines attacked, I guess. Get over by that slot in the wall there. It'll give you a place to fire from. Yeah. Where do you want me, boss? Yeah, by the slot next to his. Uh, listen. Yeah, stay there. She's coming. I can hear it. They'll be pulling up in a second. Don't either one of you fire a shot till I give you the word. All right, boss. Hey, here it is. Quiet. Hey, Pablo. Where are you? Open up and leave them fresh horses out. We're in a hurry. We'll give him a chance to get off the stage and come over this way to see what's the matter. I can just see him through here. Hey, you confounded, good-for-nothing, saddle-covered maverick. Quit snoozing and open up. They'll be coming in a second. Better see if the gate's unbarred, Happy. Now rouse that open breed. I'll lay the toe of my boot to him. Hurry. When I give the word, you fellas aim for Happy. I'll get wild, Bill. All right. right. Yeah, now... Just a little closer. Look behind you! Look behind you! What the? A redskin! Sneaked over the wall! You drop gun! Hey, what's going on inside there? What's up? Come on, now, let us in! Drop them guns, crack your pole cats, or me and the redskin will blast you to kingdom come. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. While Tonto and Jim Plummer held guns on Black Bart and his companions, the breed in charge of the station was released and the horses changed. When the stage was ready to start again with its race against time, the Lone Ranger climbed to the driver's seat, picked up the reins, and... Get up! Get going! Get along with you! Good luck, fellas! Uh, We'll need it! You're making fine time! All right, Ingen. I'll take care of these skunks now. Ah, just what do you figure you're going to do with us? Take us back to Cooperstown and hand us over to the sheriff? That's what I'd like to do. (laughs) Well, we can't stop you. Just go right ahead. Oh, turn you over to the sheriff. Find a lot of good that'd do me. You'd be walking the streets free again ten minutes later. <laughs> oh, now, if the sheriff figures we've done anything again the law. Yeah, but he won't. It was you when the case put up by Transcontinental that elected him. He knows who to jump for when he's told. Look here, Jim. Well? Transcontinental runs express courses all the way from St. Louis to San Francisco. You ain't telling me nothing I don't know. But look what you got. Just this measly line you're hoping to start between Cooperstown and Gold Flats. You won't cover nothing but three counties. You won't. You can't even compare with my outfit. Are you loco enough to think you really got a chance to get them? You bet I have, and you know doggone well why. Yeah? I get the mail franchise if that stage you just pulled out gets to Gold Flats by the first. Since a landslide on the Canyon Trail, your outfit's got to come this way to reach Washoe City. But you can't carry mail as long as I got the franchise. That's why I got a chance again yet. With my coaches carrying the mail, you'll have to come to terms. I ain't giving up. You'll wish you had. I'll risk it. All right. Never no choice. I'm letting you and these two polecats with you go. The law won't do nothing, even if I do take you in. <laughs> but least of ways, I can order you off my property, which same I'm doing right now. Get. You on this hand, Jim. But remember, this is just like poker. There's other hands ahead. Well, I'll stay for the deal, and I'll play the cards the way they come. Hamo, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Him, plenty mad. Well, they're heading back for Cooperstown, though. That's all I care about. Uh, maybe them turn back. Huh? Maybe them get out of sight and follow stage again. Redskin, you got a hit on you. Say, listen here. Uh? I got a notion it wouldn't hurt none if I was to sort of mosey along behind the stage myself. Just the insurance kind of, you see. Oh, that good idea. Would you like to come along? I'd sure admire to have you. Uh, Tonto go. Tonto shake. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, something been bothering me. Uh, what that? Tonto. Tonto. That name's so doggone familiar. What do you think? Well, I've heard it in some connection or other. Can't say just where or how. Uh, um, a better ride now. Here's Scout. Yeah. Yeah, we'd better. <laughs> you ready? Lead on, engine. Get him up, Scout. Get him out. Get along, boy. Get along there. Tonto's shrewd guess was correct. No sooner had Black Bart led his companions beyond the side of the station than he raised his hand and signaled to halt. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up? This is as far as we go in this direction. Huh? The idiots. They must have thought we'd give up easy. My gosh, they caught us. The stage got fresh horses. What can we do now? Plenty. You got another scheme? That stage has still got a spell to travel before it reaches Paiute Springs. But the way it's been traveling wouldn't surprise me none if they was to get there by tomorrow evening. Maybe even sooner. There's one thing could stop them. Yeah? Both of you been to the springs, ain't you? That's yeah. Right. And you recollect where the trail crosses Big Fork River about ten miles up this side of town? Sure. I've been across the bridge a dozen times. Yeah, the bridge. That's just what I was getting at. You mean that... Just this. The Big Fork is still some distant away. We can pass the stage again just like we've done before. Jim and that redskin figured we're heading back for Cooperstown. Uh-huh. <laughs> but if we was to reach the bridge first... And then when the stage come along, it just so happened there was no bridge there for them to cross. <laughs> you get it? Break up the bridge? Something like that. But I got to hand it to you. The tougher things are, the more schemes you can think of. <laughs> I ain't done yet. All right, come on. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. And still the stage hurtled down the trail, thrusting the long, dusty miles behind it. All through the night it continued, the Lone Ranger and Happy taking the reins turn and turn about. Every 25 miles, an isolated station loomed in front of them on the trail, and fresh horses were secured as needed. The stage, for all its speed, still could not compete with saddle horses that could leave the trail whenever a shorter route offered. 
For this reason, the stage was several hours behind when finally Black Bart, Abe, and Slim came to Big Fork River. Slim, instructed by Bart, rode on to town. When he returned, he brought a package with him and... Whoa, whoa, boy. Whoa, whoa. Didn't take you long, Slim. <clears throat> Figure this will be enough. With that, I could blow up a dozen bridges just like this one. What'd you do, buy all there was in Paiute Springs? Well, too much is better than not enough, ain't it? <laughs> sure. Yeah, where's the fuse? Eh? Right here. I can fix the powder for the blast bot if you like. Nope, that's something I'll do myself. And I'll know it's well done. Now, you fellas stay here. Right. <laughs> Gosh, Abe, just look at the river. Three feet high than I ever seen it afore. <laughs> Deep enough to be over the top of the stage, anyhow. They got the notion to ford it. Which saying they won't. Unless they're plumb local. You gotta hand it to that one fellow, though. Who? That driver. Wild Bill Ryder, whatever his handle is. I've heard he had quite a reputation. But I never was told he was as good as he'd been so far. <laughs> That's why it's nice to be working for Bart. Huh? No matter how good them other hombres are, he's always able to go him one better. Which same is gospel. Slim, I'll bet you when Wild Bill sees this, we'll hear some language. last, Black Bart had finished, and he came running toward his companion, shouting at the same time, Run for it! Lead the horses away! It's going to let go! Come on, boy! Get going, fella! Keep going! Keep going! Faster, eh? I can't go no faster than I am! Hurry! I can't! Look out! But don't get hit! We've done it! Yippee! That was a sight to see! And a noise to hear! And no more bridge left than if it had been washed away in flood time! <laughs> Now let's see that stage get through. Bart, overjoyed at the success of his trick, could not resist the temptation to remain at the river to watch what would happen when the stage arrived. Two hours later, when the Lone Ranger drew the stage to a stop just short of the demolished bridge, Bart and his two companions sat in their saddles, grinning. Whoa there, whoa, 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 whoa. Thunder. The bridge is gone. Yeah. And there's three grinning apes that could tell us just how come they were so minded. we better climb down. Uh-huh. I don't know what can be done. Reckon we're licked for sure this time. Perhaps. You there. Just what do you know about this? <laughs> Shucks, we don't know any more about it than you do. Ain't that right, fella? <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> well, we're just as mad because we can't get across as you are. You blasted low-down sneaking coyotes. Sitting there laughing, sitting there thinking what a big joke this is. You don't need to tell me, just as sure as I'm standing here. You fellas blew up that bridge. <laughs> How would you go about proving it, Happy? I'd uh, uh, oh, go to blazes. It was blasting powder did this all right. Never said it wasn't, did I? No. Well, we ought to fix these fellas once and for all. I'd like to smash Wait. that. Uh, but we go over to the stage and get that axe that's slashed on top. Huh? Go ahead, do like I say. I'll be blasted if I can see what good an axe will do. Mister... You wasn't figuring on clearing away what's left of the bridge so he can ford the river with your stage, was you? <laughs> <laughs> if you was, I'd suggest you take a look and see how deep the river is. The horses could swim it, maybe, but how'd you get the stage across? That ain't my problem, it's yours. What do you mean by that? You claimed you didn't blow up the bridge. Well, what's in his saddlebag? Hey, stand clear! What I thought, you... blasting powder. You must have had more than you could use. Try and make proof like that stand up in court. We got a right to have blasting powder with us, ain't we? There's other uses for it. This argument won't reach a court. What? Here's the axe you wanted, Bill. Good. All right, climb down. Hey, you can't. Climb down. You, you see that draw like lightning. Uh, what do you want? Don't shoot. Take this here axe. What for? Take it and I'll show you. There were two spectators to the scene that followed. One, an Indian, and the other, young Jim Plummer. They arrived just at its beginning, and taking cover in a grove of trees, they watched with amusement until it finished. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Donna. That's the funniest sight I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at Bart there, stripped to the waist. I bet he ain't worked like that since he come to these parts. <laughs> it do him good. <laughs> I bet he don't figure it that way. And there, there you see Abe. He's laying down, plumb tuckered out. <laughs> Yeah. Tano, what in blazes do you figure my driver's gonna make them do with them logs they've cut down? Watch them. You see now. Huh? Well, I'll be bold. Hey, they're fixing the lash into the stage. That's right. Oh, but I don't savvy. Stage, not got load. Log, make them float. Float, that's it. By golly, them logs lashed to the side of that coach will keep it from going under. 
The horses can pull and swim at the same time, and they'll get across slick. Uh. <laughs> and the best of it is, it's Bart and them two polecats with them that have to do all the work. Them blow a bridge. <laughs> oh, sure, they done that all right. But I'll bet they never figured my driver would call their bluff. Oh, him not afraid. Come on, I can't stay and hide no longer. I got to ride down there and let Bart know I've seen the whole thing. Uh, get him up, Scout. Get along, boy. Get him. Hi there, Bart. Exercising for your health? Why, you... Oh, boy, whoa, 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 whoa there. Scout. Oh, Scout. Oh, brother. Finish that last for you. Run over. Yep. There it is, blast you. How's your side, Happy? All set to go, Bill. Yep. How old Tim? What are you and Redskin doing here? Just enjoying the fun, is all. <laughs> Ain't it been something to see? You ever think to find Bart such a good worker? Keep your <laughs> fool mouth shut. You pay for this. He'll pay. <laughs> Seems to me Bart is up to you to pay. Pay hey, what? Once you was local enough to bet me Bill wouldn't show up to drive the stage. I collected that bet. And then you made another saying he'd never get as far as Paiute Springs. Seems to me he's gonna. Then I'll tell you something, mister. This driver ain't... You keep still. I'm going. Come on, Happy. We've got to keep going. I'm with you, Pop. Jim, I told you once we we never make it to Gold Flats. Now I'm thinking we will. And so do I. Get up. 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 It worked. The stage is floating. They'll make it. Uh. <laughs> and Bart, we got you and your parts to thank for it. I'm here to say it was mighty kind of you. No, I ain't done yet. No? And I'll tell you something else. You keep No, still. you don't, Engine. This time you don't stop me. Mister, you can think what you want. But I'm saying that driver ain't Wild Bill Riley. Then who is he? I don't know. But he ain't. <laughs> sure. Stand there and laugh. He looks like Bill and he acts like Bill and Eden talks like him. But they ain't the same and I'll stake my bottom dollar on it. You heap loco. The Redskins right, Bart. You've just let yourself get so mad you don't know what you're saying. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.